This tutorial will look at how to set up a TMS system with a MagStim, a CED1401 interface, a connecting cable for serial line communication, an amplifier and signal software. With this combination it is possible to automatically control stimulus timing and intensities. CED signal software can also be configured to record when the MagStim is triggered manually. To set up a MagStim for youth with signal and a CED1401 you will need the following. A computer or laptop with signal installed, a CED1401 interface, a MagStim, a connecting cable for serial line communication between the computer and the MagStim, and a signal conditioner. I will describe details of each aspect of the whole system in turn, starting with the MagStim. MagStim support in signal includes the 200 for single pulses, BiStim for single and paired pulses, and Rapid devices for single, paired and pulse trains. Dual MagStim 200s can also be configured, but this requires two COM ports on the computer for communication. For Signal version 7, stimulator support has been extended to include PowerMag devices by Mag and More and DuoMag devices by Damed. For details on configuring stimulus parameters for each device in the Signal sampling configuration, please watch the Setting up MagStim Configurations tutorial on our website. A cable is required to link the software and the MagStim. This cable consists of a serial line and two BNCs for digital output and trigger input on the 1401. The two BNCs from the cable connect to trigger input and usually digital output zero for sending TTL pulses to the MagStim. The D-type connector on the cable plugs into the serial port on the back of the MagStim. In this clip I'm connecting to a BiStim which is an extension of the 200 with the capability of delivering single and paired pulses. Dip switches on top of the MagStim EMG interface module allow output pulse widths and polarity to be adjusted for compatibility with most third party devices. This module is not required when setting up a system with signal, since the 1401 responds very quickly to TTL events. The RS232 computer end of the MagStim cable plugs into a serial port or a USB to serial adapter on the computer. On the connections map, the whole cable complete with serial line and BNCs is represented in red. At this point it would also be a good idea to plug in the foot switch. A micro 14A1 is shown in this setup, however the power 1401 may also be used, but with the sampling rates required for a TMS system, the micro 1401 is ample. The CED1902 is a software controlled signal conditioner, help with setup and control of which can be found in the Signal Online Help and in the TMS application guide downloadable from our website. Signal also has software support for Digitimer D440 and D360 amplifiers. In addition to using digital output zero to send TTL pulses to trigger the MagStim, the other digital outputs can be used for triggering the clamp option if fitted to a 1902, or the TTL gated D block function on a Digitimer D440 for minimising the effects of stimulation artefacts and preventing amplifier saturation. In figure C you can see the effects of the 1902 clamp, as opposed to figure B showing a saturated output as a result of the stimulus artefact in figure A. Triggering the 1902 clamp requires a 1902 trigger cable with a DIN connector and a BNC. Attach the BNC end to digital output 1 on the 1401 
and the DIN connector to trigger 2 input on the 1902. If you already have a signal conditioner or amplifier in the lab with an analogue output, the gain must be set to produce an output within the plus minus 5 volts or plus minus 10 volts range of the 1401 ADC waveform input. You may also require an electrode adapter box. This has 1.5mm safety sockets and plugs into the electrode input on the front panel of the 1902. This concludes part 1, looking at the whole system and the required connections. To summarise, you will need a MagStim, either a 200 BiStim or Rapid device, or dual MagStim 200 devices, a 1401 interface, the Micro 1401 is recommended for TMS, but you can use a power, BNC cables for amplifier output to ADC waveform input on the 1401, a signal conditioner, the CD1902, Digitimer D440 and D360 are software controllable in signal, a copy of CED signal software, a CED Magstim cable with serial line and BNCs, and a CED1902 trigger cable with DIN and BNC connectors. Part 2 of this tutorial will be about the front panel of the Magstim and manual control. Having turned the Magstim on, it will run through a self check. For this section, I'm going to be using a BiStim. You will notice there are no figures displayed on the 200. This is because the BiStim operates as primary and secondary units. A BiStim is two single pulse units combined by a connecting module on the side so that single and paired pulses can be delivered through a single coil. A BiStim can also be set to independent trigger mode. This means each unit can be triggered individually via two separate digital outputs from the 1401. Details of setting this up can be found in the tutorial Setting up Magstim configurations and in the BiStim user manual. Press the large green button to cycle between the stimulus and interval settings rotating clockwise to increase and anti-clockwise to decrease the figures. I have set the primary intensity to 30% and the secondary intensity to 60% and I have set the interstimulus interval to 100 milliseconds. The small green button arms the magstim and the yellow button fires the stimuli from the coil. Once fired we wait for the magstim to come ready for stimulating again as indicated by the green light next to the tick. Finally, the red button disarms the magstim. Using the multiple frame state system in the signal sampling configuration, we can set up stimulation protocols for the magstim. Details on setting up sampling configurations can be found in the Signal Online Help and in the tutorial pages of our website www.ced.co.uk This concludes this tutorial on setting up the Magstim with a 1401, 1902 and Signal and also the manual control and setup of the Magstim.